I'm Lawrence Juber. Today I'm here to talk about the Dreadnought and its amazing history and, and what it represents to guitar players and the guitar in general. When I was growing up in, in England in the 1970s, I started getting into becoming a studio musician and really the holy grail acoustic guitar was the Martin D28, the Dreadnought. I had no idea at that time what its history was. I just knew that I had to have one. It's not just the sound of music that appealed to me, but also the music making, the actually just being able to pick up a guitar. I'll never forget, my dad took me over to a friend of his who was an amateur guitar player and this man played an F major seven chord. And it was just the most gorgeous thing I'd ever heard until moments later he played a, a G 13th chord. And I was just in love with that sound. And the Dreadnought really for us as acoustic guitar players really is like our version of the grand piano. It's the instrument that has volume and power. This is a ukulele, ukulele introduced in America in 1915, 1916, this size of instrument was the biggest guitar round about the turn of the 20th century. This was not loud enough for certain players. And the Dreadnought became very quickly a very popular size of instrument. The bass response. It's so big that Martin actually described these as bass guitars in their catalog. When you realize the power that was coming out of those instruments. <laughs> that Elvis playing rhythm guitar was a lot of volume. The Dreadnought has this incredible versatility. The size of it and the projection of it allows it to be used in different kinds of ways. So the cannon, which will part the audience's hair at a distance of at least 20 feet, is one aspect of the Dreadnought, but it lends itself, for example, as a bluegrass lead guitar. because it speaks so well. The fact that it can be finger-picked on, too. Puts it in that context of the one guitar that you can take to any gig and it will get the job done for you, whether you're playing flat-picking or playing fingerstyle. The Dreadnought is loud. It's powerful, it's versatile, it's just never gonna go away. It's established itself over the last century as being the go-to acoustic guitar.